Hello. So being serious problems week and me being myself and not being a very serious person. That's kind of a lie because I am a very serious person. I'm just not good at talking about serious topics. That's off the topic, by the way. So, as you are now watching this video, you are no doubt part of the internet generation. Now let me tell you what that means. Well, most likely. Not for everyone. Some of you are more fortunate than myself, but moving on. This most likely means that on the internet, you're the funniest person alive. You can crack a joke like that. You're talking to people everywhere. Like, ha 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 lol, Facebook stuff. You've got a hundred followers on Tumblr. But then there's real human interaction. So I'm the perfect example of an internet generation child. And let me explain to you why. You see, when I get invited to a party, which is about once or twice a year, compared to the other people, the popular people, that get invited to parties every weekend, that's 52 weeks a year. And let me tell you, there is no doubt a party every single one of those weekends. I, I wouldn't know because I don't get invited, but I'm sure there is. So when I get invited to these parties, I'm usually that person that says, oh, I'd love to come, and then I don't because I have an existential crisis thinking about all my problems with interacting with people in a social setting. <laughs> no. But this is a legitimate issue I've had, and I've had this issue ever since primary school because I resorted to the internet to get away from my problems with other children. I had a rather large friend that could lift me and would like throw me. Well, I guess she wasn't a friend really, was she? Mm. But that turned me towards the internet, and then I turned into a real dork, you know. I loved maths and science, and I love reading. I still love reading. Reading's awesome. Always read books. But like, make sure you still interact with people. Like, well, people aren't that great. Rant. Rant, 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 rant. I had sugar today. So when I moved schools in grade nine, I decided I was gonna become that cool kid again in this new school. Hell was I mistaken. Moving from a country town to a city, being cool is completely different things. You see, I didn't fit into this crowd because I hadn't known them for most of my childhood and I had nothing to talk about with them because I'm one of those people that just loves to like bring up all their old memories and everyone laughs and like, ah, that was a great time. That's all I know how to do. I always like to think that watching a few funny videos online, that'll improve my social skills. It doesn't. <coughs> what am I doing with my life? So, transitioning from trying to be a cool kid to back to the dork, I learned how to communicate with the dorks very well. We are in sync with each other, but just having a funny conversation with people, which seems to be all anyone cares about these days. I mean, come on people, get over it. So you'd think being humorous, the internet would help for that, and it does to an extent. I say the word extent a lot, probably because I like existential crises. Well, I don't like them, they just occur very frequently. So the real moral of this story is find who likes you, whether you're quiet or whether you're loud, or whether you get hyper when you have too much red sugar. Or whether you act like a five-year-old when you just turned 16. Cool story, bro. I'm gonna go. Like, subscribe, favorite this video, do what you gotta do. I will see you next time. A goodbye.